So I'm gonna use AI to write speeches automatically for me. So I'm gonna give it a prompt and it is going to spit back a speech. So I'm gonna use OpenAI uh, Playground, which is just text generation software. And uh, what the prompt is that I'm gonna start with is, hey, can you write a speech for me? I need to make a speech for my high school graduation. I am the valedictorian. Can you make it last at least three minutes or about like 2,000 words? So I'm gonna see what it gives us, and it's already going, right? So it's given a really nice, but kind of generic um, valedictorian speech, but what I'm actually gonna ask it is, uh, for one, it didn't output everything, so whenever this happens, you're gonna to wanna to hit submit again and just keep your cursor at the end of where it was working, because it see it has a lot more to go. Um, but you have this, this speech now, and we could throw this into word count, and we could figure out how many uh, how many words it is and how long it'll last and all that stuff. We could say like, uh, we could just go back to the prompt, delete all this, and we'll say like, could you add a joke? Um, I'll say add an inside joke. All right, cool. So let's see if it adds the inside joke. Um, looking through it. Let's see. Uh, finally, let's not forget to have a little fun. Um, so I have to wait for just a second and it's gonna go ahead and load back up here for me in a second. All right, so let's see. Oh, <laughs> well, so this is like a, the dumbest joke ever. And I'd like to leave you with an inside joke that many of you have heard before. What did the fish say when it hit the wall? Damn, that's, that's a perfect high school speech joke. But okay, we're not done with this. I'm gonna actually ask it to uh, provide us with a different type of speech and we'll uh, actually add some more info, some, some different stuff. We're gonna write a speech like we're the president. So I said, I am the president of the United States. China has just invaded Ukraine. We will send 50,000 troops in an immediate response and use space lasers to counter this horrible attack. All right, so let's see what it it outputs right so this is obviously just a joke right but <laughs> let's see um, this cutting-edge technology right this is a difficult time for Ukraine in the world thank you and may God bless the United States so hold on I can actually go in here and I'm gonna say uh, make it sound more formal and um, impactful this is a dire situation right that was that one kind of seemed like every other speech wow we come together to get today in a time of great sorrow is a great evil right wow this is this is pretty good I'm telling you what somebody at the White House is about to be out of a job for the speech writing right so Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna actually add in something. Um, I'm gonna say, just like in the last one, I'm gonna say include, <laughs> include a <laughs> light, light-hearted joke for comedic relief. <laughs> See how it puts the joke in here. Okay, so swiftly and effectively respond to the attack. <laughs> I understand this is a time of great distress and anxiety, but I do want to make sure that I use this time to bring light and some comic relief to the situation. <laughs> Therefore, they say laughter is the best medicine. So here's a joke. What do you call a fish with no eyes? <laughs> An FSH. That one go over uh, very well um, because... For one, this is a spelling-based joke, so I'm gonna <laughs> just delete all this and then actually see if it'll give another joke. Um, but one thing about this is that you have a rate limit, so if you ever run into this, just wait for a second and then, um, or more specifically, probably a minute, because you can uh, request about 10 times per minute. And uh, so we'll just wait for this to come back. And while we're waiting, you can actually turn up uh, best of. This makes it the best. Um, and then some of these, variables right here I like to turn them up and I actually like to turn up the maximum length to about in the 600s that seems like a good range for me all right so we just got another speech that, as it just came back so this one uh, 
Seems pretty good. Okay. <laughs> um, this one doesn't really seem like a joke, but the the presidential speech does say, "Hey, never forget the importance of hu laughter and humor when facing adversity head on." So this could this could definitely be uh, what they call a gaff um, when this with this war speech, but. I wanted to see if it will come out with a, maybe a better joke. We can try it one more time and see what it does. But um, this is a, just kind of funny to see how the AI uh, tailors itself every time you request it to do something new or give a new version, just how it kind of um, <laughs> it turns out. This one is ridiculous. This is off the chain. The joke in here. As Benjamin Franklin once said, in this world, nothing can be said to be certain except for death and taxes and maybe Chinese invasions. Oh, man, I, this is this is brutal. I got to see if I can get a uh, like a presidential emulator and then run this through and see <laughs> and see if it'll it'll come out with a fake speech. Somebody take this text and run it through and see if you can. Uh, have a like Obama voice emulator come through and actually uh, say that this this is funny. So yeah, imagine this rolling down the teleprompter would be funny. But anyhow, uh, you could you could print out our useful speech for school, and uh, this one was just kind of for fun to just show where it could go. But overall, um, very very interesting capability here. So definitely go check out OpenAI's playground and see what it can do. It's really worth checking out. Thanks for watching.